I'm here at DockerCon. I'd like to show you how to create Docker create service with Docker 1.12 just published recently. So I'm creating a service named Crate. It's running on three nodes initially, exposing the port 4200, that is our HTTP admin endpoint. And I'm also exposing um, a data directory where the database can store its data. I'm also preparing some delays for the auto upgrade mechanism. And here I'm starting create 054.8 that I'm also providing some additional parameters that help it to create the class state initially, avoiding potential split brain issues. So let's look what the service is doing. It seems like the service has been properly created. And, um, and now let's look at the single instance, what it is doing. So docker logs follow here. So we see um, it started, it detected a master and also um, added the other nodes. So everything seems, uh, seems up and running. Let's access the admin UI on the, on the local host. Admin UI, we see the cluster has uh, three nodes connected. Um, and now let's add some sample data. I'm connecting here to the Twitter Firehose in the background and constantly inserting tweets to the cluster. While this is running, let's upgrade the cluster to the latest version. So I'm now uh, using the command docker service update uh, minus minus image create latest, our create service. And now let's look at the tasks that are running down. So we see it already took down one node. Let's uh, look at the log files to see how the node has, has left. Here we see all the, the new node has uh, started. I'm choosing the older node to see the log files. And we see that this uh, node uh, that this node just uh, left. It was the master uh, been removed, but now we already have a new master. That is, uh, that is in the cluster. And uh, as we see, the, the nodes are, uh, are properly running. If I look at the tasks again, we see uh, service tasks, great. We see that it's already running. The one is running the latest version. This one is also running the latest version. This one is still updating to the to the to the next version. Let's check here. We see it's still importing the data to the to the cluster, and soon I think the um, the cluster will be updated to uh, will be updated to the latest version. Back at the admin UI, uh, we see the cluster has been upgraded to 54.9, which is the latest version. I have the tweet uh, tweet stable. And I have uh, inserted a couple of records that are in the cluster.